Hi everyone and welcome back to PDQPD. I'm John Sedwick and today I'd like to show you a couple of features that have been added for text in Google Slides and Google Drawings. Today I'm going to use a Google Slide Deck here as the method for presentation but it works exactly the same in Google Drawings. Um, I'm on a blank slide here and I'm going to start by entering some text. So I'm going to go to the insert menu, enter a text box, and type in my text. Once I have my text entered, I'm going to choose a font and a size. So I will select the text and go up here where it says Arial because that's the default on this uh, document. And I'm going to choose a different font. Let's see what I like here. See what that looks like. Okay, not too bad. And then I'm going to change the size just to make it a little bit easier to see. So far so good. Um, I'm going to make this text box a little smaller here because when I show you the reflection it, it will make a difference. I can choose if I'd like to change the color of my text here but for now we'll just leave it black. While I am here in the text box I'm going to first I'm going to add a drop shadow. So while my cursor is in the text box, I'm going to go up here to the format options. And you can see the window opens to the right. And I'm going to close this one for now. Here's the option for drop shadow. When I check the box, you can see that the drop shadow appears. And it also gives me some options to change some of the features. Um, let's see, let's change as I move the, um, the slider here, you can see where the angle of the shadow appears. It goes up above it, or I can bring it back down below it. I can move it farther away from the letters if I want to do that. I can adjust the blur. And I can even go up here if I'd like and I can change the color of the shadow. It's pretty simple. Um, just add that shadow, get the features that you want, and you can add, add that to um, kind of jazz up your, your text a little bit. So that's the first part. Now the second part is, with this new feature, you can also add a reflection, like it's um, kind of sitting on top of a pond or something. So under the format option, still the same way I did with the drop shadow, I'm going to click the down arrow. When I click the down arrow, it automatically checks the box and you can see it's added this reflection. And I have a couple of options here too. In transparency, I can make it a little bit lighter. And I can adjust the distance away from the original. can also change how much of it is reflecting. It says size, it's a little misleading, it actually kind of cuts it in half. See what I mean there? It only shows half of the reflection. Now one thing I did notice when I entered this, the first time I was practicing this, this text box was a little larger. And you can see what happens to the reflection. It reflects from the bottom of the text box rather than the bottom of the text itself. So if you find it being that far away, it's probably because your text box is large and you'll want to close that in. So that's how you can add a drop shadow to text or add a reflection to your text. So mess around with um, some fonts, with some colors, with some sizes. See what makes this uh, a little bit more um, attractive in your presentations. And again, this effect will work in Google Slides and in Google Drawings. It does not work in Google Docs um, because text is automatically in there. You don't enter with a text box. Hope this is helpful to you. And as always, have a great day.